Hi everybody, welcome to the Denison Sports Network. My name is Craig Hicks and today I'm joined by Amanda Daniels and we're going to talk about the Big Red women's lacrosse season which actually just got started this past weekend. Uh, you played a game in February against Augustana in Detroit, indoor facility, and it was quite a game. Scored eight straight down the stretch uh, to pull off the win over the last 25 minutes. Can you just talk a little bit about that first game and what you learned from the team so far? Yeah, that was a, um, a phenomenal way to start the season. It was a really exciting, fun game. You know, Augustana is a team that we've played in my first two years, non-conference game, and they've beaten us by one in our first two years. So to come out, you know, to be find ourselves down in the first half and, you know, come out strong um, and really kind of take that game over in the second half was, was really a lot of fun and, and a great thing to see. You know, really just to me showed um, the heart of this team, you know, the fact that they're going to come together, they're going to keep fighting and, you know, do whatever they need to do to, to come away with, with the win and, uh, you know, to have that be the first statement we make as a team um, stepping out onto the field was a great way to kick off 2016. Now you talk about the heart of your team. I saw that last year uh, firsthand. You know, you went through a lot of injuries last year. You lost your only goalie on the roster at the time to a season-ending injury, but you still managed to go through and win the NCAC tournament, go to the NCAAs. You know, I just saw the team was picked first in the NCAC poll for this year. Do you think some of those struggles last year are, are carrying over and have made this team stronger? Are you seeing that uh, for the 2016 team? Yeah, absolutely. Anyone, all of our returners are a part of that experience last season. I mean, there's no doubt that that has carried over to this year. I mean, the fact that we were faced with adversity after adversity and obviously losing your only goalie on the roster is just a crazy thing to even even think about and to you know come back from that and you know turn that season around really because that was that happened right in the midst of a bunch of one goal losses as well and so it very easily could have been you know a turning point to just the very worst for the team and and they made you know as much out of it as they absolutely could and so you know, I think we we're all incredibly inspired and just in awe of what our team was able to do last year. So there's no doubt that that carry over, carries over to this year and I think just gives us that confidence that we know if, we're, if we stay together as a team, we can really do anything and uh, that's a great thing. Oh, Coach, can you just give me a, an overview, if you could, of this 2016 team and the roster and how it's made up and, and what you see happening down the stretch? I know we don't play a home game for a while until sort of the end of March, uh, you're going to be on the road for a while, but uh, talk a little bit about this year's roster. Yeah, so, you know, this year we have we have 12 returners and 11 first years, so that's, you know, quite the balance and mix right there, so we're a pretty young team, but um, in a great way, and so we've really infused a lot of young talent, um, our returners have all come back ready to go, and we spent a lot of time in the fall like really focusing on getting the team cohesion together because that's such a big part of any team's success. Um, but you know, as far as what we see for this team um, coming down the stretch and just kind of with starting off with some really great non-conference games. We have some really tough games in the first part of our season, but um, you know, it's just all about coming together as a team. Our offense, you know, started off again against Augustana, very balanced. We had six different goal scorers um, in that game. Our defense is young but fast and aggressive and uh, you know we're just really excited about everything that we're seeing so far from the squad. And one neat thing if you're looking at the, the schedule, um, notice that you're going to Puerto Rico, San Juan for play three games against some tough competition. That seems like just one of the neat things that you get to do at a place like Denison and take a good trip. You know that's going to really, I would think, bring the team together. Can you just talk a little bit about how that came about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, spring break is always kind of that point of that is when the team really comes together. You're just together for, you know, seven straight days, essentially. But Puerto Rico is a trip that's been on the back of our mind for the last couple of years. It's something, you know, that's becoming more popular for, you know, Division three teams, especially to take advantage of. And, you know, the big focus for us for spring break is always going to be um, to have great competition. So when we saw the teams that were listed uh, to go to Puerto Rico that we may have an opportunity to play, um, that was really kind of the driving force behind it. Obviously Puerto Rico is a really cool destination to get to go to and we're really excited about that, but the fact that we're playing you know, three 
nationally recognized and solid teams um, while we're down there is um, really exciting and really going to be a lot of fun. Um, and the fact that we get to take a team, you know, catamaran trip is just icing on the cake for us. Catamarans, if you're working some beach time, that's going to be great. Now, thanks for everybody for joining us on the Denison Sports Network for this preview. As like we mentioned, there's not a lot of home games this year. We've got six, so we hope that you can make it out. If you can't, we will be broadcasting all of those on the Denison Sports Network. All you need to do is go to denisonbigred.com, find the women's lacrosse schedule page, click on video, and you can be watching all those in the comforts of your own home. So for Amanda Daniels, I'm Craig Hicks, and thanks for joining us, and go Big Red.